I'm Scott Weichel. You're listening to My Kind of Country right here on Fish Creek Radio. My guest tonight has one of the most recognizable voices in country radio with the last hits, including Cadillac Style, Don't Go Near the Water, Yard Sale, and Third Rate Romance. And to date, he's amassed 25 top 40 hits on the Billboard Country Singles chart, as well as three gold and three platinum selling albums. He's gearing up for the June 9th release of I Won't Back Down on Cleopatra Records. He's here with me to talk about this fantastic brand new album. Please welcome Sammy Kershaw to My Kind of Country. Sammy, how are you today? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on the show, and I'm real excited about this new album. I've been listening to it all weekend, man. you got some good stuff here, my friend. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it a whole lot. Well, tell me about the title track. This is a, uh, a song that I remember from Tom Petty. Yeah, man, it's an old Tom Petty song. I won't back down, and uh, uh, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much me. You know, when uh, Cleopatra wanted to ask me to do an album for them, uh, they wanted ten brand new songs and two cover songs, and uh, I won't back down. Ended up being one of them, uh, and it ended up being the title track of the album because, uh, uh, well. Basically, I won't back down, man. <laughs> you know, um, you know, for the last ten years or so, my career and personal life and everything else have been pretty, pretty rough. And uh, things got uh, started getting better last year, and it was because I didn't back down, man. I kept on going. Uh, you got to keep going, man. Just you know, things when when things look bad, sometimes uh, they might they might get worse, but you can't. Uh, you just can't give up, man. You can't back down. You got to keep going, and then, uh, and someday it'll eventually turn around. It really will. Oh yeah, well, it's it's really nice to uh, see a swing going back to traditional country music, and uh, you know, I, I think I speak for all of your fans when I say we're real glad that you didn't back down because uh, you know you got one of the best voices. I've been a fan from uh, ever since Cadillac Style came out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got Thank to, you, man. I got to see you in concert way back about that time, and you did a song, and I don't think you ever released it as a hit, but it's always been my favorite, and i got to ask you about it before we get back to the new album. It's called I Buy Her Roses. Yeah, man, that was, um, I, you know what, believe it or not, every night that's one of my most requested songs that people want to hear, and it was never released, you're right. It was never released, and uh, and I'm thinking maybe the next album I do uh I may do an album for the fun of it and, uh, uh, and, and, uh, do an album of songs that were never released that I have cut. Oh, that'd there be was great. a lot of them. Uh, um, there was a lot of songs like that, man. I buy her roses was a great tune. It sure um, was. That's one of my favorites. And, and I play it on yeah, my show all the time. I, I love that song. I'll be though. <laughs> cool, man. Thank you. Well, this this new album, I'll tell you what, there's some great stuff, and there's something for everybody on here. You've got, you know, you've got some kind of uh, almost rock and roll. You got a little uh, Caribbean style going on. You got some hardcore country, and there's something for everybody on this album. And that's, I think, that's what people have come to expect from a Sammy Kershaw album. Yeah, man, I try to give some, I try to give something to everybody. Uh, you know, I, I I don't want anybody to feel left out. I want some, I want somebody to like something on that album. Well, I, um, I, and, uh, and, 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 and it may turn them on to something else on the album. So, absolutely. you know, it's, um, it's just kind of the way I've done it my whole career. And, and, and I just, I'm going to keep doing it. Um, uh, you know, you don't fix it, uh, if it ain't broke. Uh, and it's not, uh, you know, I've put out some new albums, uh, uh, in the last few years and, and it's not, uh, it's not that it, it, the reason people, a lot of people don't know that I've had some new albums every now and then is because, um, uh, you know, radio won't play, um, new stuff by guys like me anymore in the last few years. They just haven't done it and they won't do it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, man, I know some great singers out there. We can't get played at, at, at radio. We do Joe Diffie and Aaron Tippin and, Pam Tillis and and, and uh, I mean there's a bunch of us man and uh, I we do traditional country music and uh, and I believe it's going to come back uh, around here really sooner than people think. Well, I'll tell you, Sammy, this this is what we play on my show, and my show has grown by leaps and bounds. I've been doing it for just about a year now, and you know, with internet radio and satellite radio, we can play what we want to play, and we can you know yeah. make it about the music, and we can get this music out there because you're very right. <laughs> 
you know, that uh, in a country, you know, regular uh, mainstream radio is missing the boat because I'll tell you what, yourself and so many great artists, you know, the Oak Ridge Boys, Gene Watson, I can just go right down the list, are putting out great albums, and they need to, yeah. be, they need to be heard, and the fans want to hear them, and that's why they're coming to places like us to hear this stuff because they know we're going to play it. That's exactly right, man. You're exactly right. Um, and, uh, and uh, you know, I mean, God dog, man, we, we have to depend on uh, social media also, uh, you know, because, like I said, mainstream radio, we're not going to get played right now. Yep. But one of these days we'll get played again on there. Oh, absolutely. They're going to have to because people are getting tired of not hearing country music. You're absolutely right. I'm with you 100% on that one. Well, I want to ask you about a couple songs on this great new album, and uh, I really like the title of this one. It's kind of a cool play on words, and it's called I Can't Wait to Waste a Little Time. Yeah, man. It just, uh, you know, I, <laughs> man, look, I don't take vacations, okay? <laughs> and uh, a lot of people don't know that about me. I, I don't go on vacation. I just, uh, I, I don't really, uh, uh, it's not that I don't enjoy them. It's just that I, I, I love working. I love doing what I do, and um, and I don't. Every time I end up blocking off some time to be able to get away for a few days down to the beach or something, somebody will call in and, and with an offer uh, to go to work, and uh, God dog it, I just can't turn it down. <laughs> so you know, uh, uh, it's just like uh, we had about ten or eleven days off uh, uh, about two two or three weeks ago. And the band, you know, they liked it because they got to go do some stuff. And uh, but myself, I ended up in the studio uh, producing an album on a, a a new girl from Canada. Oh wow! Who uh, and really, really good singer, man. She sings great live. Her pitch is unbelievable. And um, so, but that's what I did for my little vacation. I was in the <laughs> studio working. Well, it's great that you that you love what you do and you get to do that. You know, that's uh, yeah, man. I guess you don't need a vacation when you get to do the things that you love to do, right? No, man, I love what I do. Still love it. Hey, years ago, I read a story at the, about when you went in to record an album. It said you you chain smoked when you were recording. Do you still do that? I did what? It said that you were a chain smoker. You went in and chain smoked all the time you was recording an album to get that edge in oh. your voice. No, I quit smoking in February of twenty. 20- uh, 11. Good for you. I quit smoking. That's four years now. A little over four years I quit smoking. Good for you. That's great. <laughs> I just put them down, man. Good for you. That's great. Well, your voice sounds great. And, uh, you know, I, I have, you know, I've listened to this album all weekend and I, and there's usually a song that I keep kind of zoning in on and, uh, it's really popped up there as my favorite so far. And I want to ask you about it. And it's it's right in the pocket, you know. It's the real hardcore country that you do so well. The song's called "I Had to Give That Up Too." Oh God, dog it, man! You're you're about the fourth one that mentioned that song this morning, and that's my favorite one on the album, actually. Um, it, it's just a good old tear jerking country song, man. Oh, yeah. And and uh, I mean, it's it's that's a country that's a country song if I ever heard one. Who wrote that song? Um, uh, Keith. Gaddis wrote that song. Okay, yeah. Great song, man. Oh, and sure uh, I was glad to get it. I was worried a little bit there for, uh, you know, there was another song they pitched to me, too, that I wanted uh, that he wrote. And uh, come to find out somebody else, um, somebody else has it on hold. Um, so I wasn't able to get that one, but I was at least able to get this one. And, and uh and I love this song. Oh, and you did my favorite great. on the album. It is it's mine too so far. I uh, I really love it and you did a great job on it and I like send in the rodeo clowns. That's a neat one too. And you know that song uh that was written by Dennis Lindy who wrote Queen of My Double Wide Trailer and John Deere Green and Janie Baker's Love Slave. Wow. Um and um uh they've they've been pitching that song to me for about 18 years. And I and I never did cut it. And um, and when I was looking for material for this album, I was just listening to some stuff I had on computer one day, and that song started playing. And I said, God dog, that song. Every time I start looking for material for an album, that song pops up. And I decided uh, it's time to go ahead and cut this song, man. And um, 
So, and there it is. It's kind of a funny song, you know. It's a fun little song, and uh, and it's kind of like Queen of My Double Wide Trailer. People won't get it unless they hear it two or three times. Yeah, and then they'll yeah. understand what it's <laughs> you know what it's about. Absolutely, I like grilling and chilling. That's a fun one too. Thank you. I think that's the I think that's the song they're gonna they're gonna put out first. Oh, fantastic. We'll make sure yeah. we'll make sure we play the heck out of it for you. I guarantee you that. And cool, man. Take a letter, Maria. That's that's a great it's a great opener. I love that one too. That was a big old hit in nineteen sixty nine. Yeah, I remember that. You did a great job. You've got a real good knack about uh, when you do cover songs, you know, back when you did third rate romance, you know that you know, it became your song. <laughs> well, you know what I think my secret is, you know, I hear a lot of people cover songs and they change it. And but you know what? When that song, when a, when a, a song like that was cut and became a hit, there was a, a reason it became a hit. It's because of the way it sounded. Yep. So don't change the music. Just don't change the arrangement. Uh, just put your vocal on it. Amen and to that. And make it your own. Amen to that. And that's what I do with them. I, I don't change them, man, because they were they were hit records for a reason. It's because people liked what they heard, and I don't change them. I just uh, I, I try to do the music uh, exactly like the original. The only thing that's different is my vocal on it. That's it. Well, fantastic material here, and folks are going to love it. And uh, so I won't back down. Sammy Kershaw with Cleopatra Records, sammykershaw.com. And, of course, it'll be available on Amazon, iTunes, all over, Ernest Tubb Records, Shops, FYE, anywhere. You, you can always find Sammy Kershaw Records. Get them. By gosh, you're going to love this one. We're going to play the heck out of it for you. And, Sammy, Thank you, man. I want to give you a big tip of the hat for your last album, The Tribute to the Possum. Um, oh, thank you, man. I am one of the biggest George Jones fans on the planet. And there is, oh. there is nobody in my eyes that can do justice to George Jones like Sammy Kershaw can. Oh, thank you, man. That's that's a that means a lot to me. You know, Jones and I were friends for about forty three years, and you know, I, I miss him every day, man. I loved him. I loved him too, and uh, never bit a bullet like this before. You guys had a great yeah. duet on that. That was a lot thank of fun. You. And, thank you. It was fun cutting it too. Well, tell me about the route that I took. That's such a, such a beautiful song. Was that something that George was going to record? Yeah, I wrote that song for Jones, and um, and uh, he never got around to cutting it. And uh, uh, I was able. I guess I kind of wrote that song for me too. Uh, my my life and Jones' life was was pretty paralleled, you know. Yeah. Uh, I went through a lot of the same things he did, and. Uh, struggles and good times and all that stuff and so I was able to finally sing it myself. Well that's great. Well that one and, and of course uh, Do You Know Me, the title of the album too, that's that's another one that's uh, you know, describes his life to a T. Yeah, it was a friend of mine that wrote that, uh, Billy Lawson uh, and when I heard it, I remember when I heard it, uh, I started crying and uh, Jones was surprised Jones never got around to cutting that either, and and he wanted to cut that song, and uh, and then I called up Billy one day. I said, Billy, I'm going to cut. Do you know me? And I said, it's going to be the title track of the album because I'm going to tell you, you hit it, you hit it right on the head, man. Well, you must have uh, you must have had his hand on your shoulder when you recorded it because I can I can hear shadows of his voice coming through your voice in that song and. It just Thank you. it just sends chills, man. That's such such a great album. I've got I've got it on vinyl. I was so glad you released it on vinyl. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, Good. Me a, too. I, it, it, you know, it just it just called for vinyl. The the, the cover, the cover, and everything. You know, and plus, you know, back then that's what Jones started in the fifties. It was it was vinyl. Yep. So I, I had to do it, man. I play a lot of songs on my show right off of the vinyl, and uh, that's oh, that, that's cool. That's one of them when I play one of those cuts. But folks, you can get that album uh, along with the brand new album at SammyKershaw dot com, and of course Amazon, iTunes, all over. And uh, he has an album out called Big Hits Volume One. He re-recorded a whole bunch of your big songs a few years ago, and that's available too. And uh, is there, there going to be a Big Hits Volume Two? Oh, I don't know, man. We, we might we might do one. Um, but I have some other projects I want to do first. I, uh, 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 I have to, I have to do a gospel album that's gonna, that's gonna go with the book that'll be out this fall. 
I also have a blues album that I recorded and it's sitting in the studio, all finished, just waiting to be released. And uh, there's a couple of other special project things, like, you know, in Louisiana we have a, a certain style of music called swamp pop music. And um, and I want I want to do a, uh, a special project album of swamp pop music. Fantastic. Well, you're, you are a busy man. <laughs> yes, I am, and I love it. You don't have time for vacation. You're right. <laughs> well, folks, make sure you go see Sammy Kershaw. I've, I've been blessed to see him a couple times in concert. Uh, just a fantastic show. And, uh, you know, you sound like you do on your records, and I love that. And it's you're the real Thank deal. You. You're the real deal, Thank man. you, my friend. I appreciate it. I ain't kidding you. Well, this song is that we're going to play is off of the brand new album. I won't back down, and and I got to play it because it's my favorite one on there, and it's called "I Had to Give That Up to You." We're going to play that from uh, Mr. Sammy Kershaw, and I want to thank you for being on my kind of country, Sammy. It's been a pleasure. Man, you're welcome. Thank you for wanting to talk to old country singers like me. We love to have you anytime, and I hope you'll come <laughs> back again and see us uh, when you have yes, sir. When you have some new stuff out. We'd love to have you anytime. And thanks to Webster for getting this set up, and our sponsor Fred Kelly Guitar Picks. Thank you again, yes, Sammy sir. Kershaw. We appreciate it. You bet, man. All right. Thank you. Here's Sammy Bye-bye. Kershaw. I'd love to give that up, too, as we continue with My Kind of Country right here on Fish Creek Radio.